Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials brought to you by HollywoodFrodo.com. This is lesson number 34 and this is a user request uh, lesson. A uh, user wrote in and said, hey, when I'm at work, I don't have my phone on. Uh, I don't have sound on, I don't even have vibrate on because I can't have those kind of uh, interruptions. I keep my phone in silent mode. But what I would like is I would like that whenever my phone is in silent mode and I get a call that I'll just have one vibration for each call that I've missed at that point in time. So that's the profile that I set out to create and did create it and I'm going to show you exactly how to create it yourself. But before I do that I want to show you what it does, show you how it works. So my phone is in silent mode right now. So let's just pretend my phone is in my pocket and my phone is ringing, except because it's in silent mode, nothing is happening. And so once I miss that call, uh, what is going to happen is I'm gonna get this pop up. And I don't know if you could hear the vibrate or not, but it also vibrated for about three quarters of a second. Now if my phone stays in my pocket, so so let's say 10 minutes later someone else calls me, I haven't had a chance to check that yet. Then I'm going to get another call in 10 minutes and I don't have a chance to check that call either. And so that becomes a missed call. And so once that happens, you have two missed calls. And it vibrates twice to let you know that you have two missed calls. So that is the profile we're going to learn to set up in this lesson. So uh, let's jump on over to it and I'll show you how to set it up for yourself. Okay, so you saw what this is going to do. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. And we're going to start by creating the scene that you saw, which displays the most recent missed call, as well as how many total missed calls that you have had, and uh, a button to dismiss and clear it. So to create that scene, we're going to Make sure you're inside scenes and then click that plus button and we're going to name it 101 Miss Call. You can name it whatever you want to. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag this to make it about the size that we want the scene to be. I'm going to say about that size would be good. Actually, maybe a little bit smaller. It's going to be that big. And if you hit the menu button and hit properties, you can change the color of it. Uh, I'm going to make the background color of the scene sort of a dark gray. So let's go, not quite black, but like a dark gray I think would be good. Click OK. And that's all we're going to do with that. So you see, it's a nice gray. Click the little uh, magnifying glass down at the bottom puts it into edit mode so that you can add stuff to it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to long press on here or you could click that plus button down there and I'm going to add text. You can name this text but I'm just going to leave it the generic text one because that's the only we're only going to have two text boxes on this scene so it's not going to be that complicated. And now in the text we're going to say you have and here's where we're going to put a variable and this is a variable that we are going to create so as you know with variables always start with percent signs percent and then I'm going to say 101 and of course my keyboard put a space in there it needs to be all one word 101 miss call count now remember capital letters make a difference in variables by having a capital letter in there I'm making it a, uh, a universal variable that will hold the number even if this task you is exited so you have and then that's going to ultimately be a number and I'm going to say missed calls. So it's going to be a number that's going to tell us how many missed calls we have. Then I'm going to hit return to go down a line and I'm going to say most recent. So I want it to display 
the most recent phone call, so the one I missed uh, most recently. And then on that line, we're going to use a built-in variable. Hit the little variable tag. You can drag down to, and I'm going to say uh, caller name in, meaning the last time I received a call. And then I'm going to hit return and hit the little variable sign and go down to caller number in. So this will let us know how many missed calls we have and the name and number of the most recent. Now the text size on this, we'll have to play with this, but I'm going to start by setting it at about 28. Sounds good. And then I'll go in and change it if I need to in a minute. Now color, I'm going to hit the little uh, search magnifying glass button and I'm going to choose a bright color that will show up really good. And that is it. I'll leave it with a normal font. I'm not going to really apply any actions to this, although you could. But uh, we will in the next button. So let's go back and now we can... Play with this a little bit. Now obviously right now this is showing the actual variable because there is no value in that variable as of yet. We just created it. But once there is a value there, it would actually have the number of missed calls. And that's ultimately what we're looking for is the number, how many missed calls do we have. So then I'm going to add one more thing and you can long press on here or you can click the plus button and I'm going to go text again. I'm just going to leave it text too. Now this time this is going to be my dismiss and clear button. So I'm going to say dismiss and clear. And text size, we'll say probably about 25-ish, 24, I'll leave it there for now. Uh, Color-wise, I'm going to make this kind of a bright yellow. There we go. Font, I'm going to leave the same. I'm not going to mess with the formats of any of the rest of it. But I'm going to change the background. Shader, I'm going to go, yeah, let's do a radial shader, and I'll make the start color uh, blue, and then the end color uh, darker gray. Let's go back and just take a look at that. And you can kind of see it, how it's going to look. So, I'm going to maybe make this a little bit uh, bigger here so that it looks a little better. There we go. And I'm going to tap that. I'm just going to give it a... Uh, a border, border width, border color, the border color I'll make it a really light gray. And round off the corners just a little bit. And let's see how it looks. So there we go. Let's just know how many missed calls we've, we have, what the most recent is and a dismiss and clear button. The only other thing we need to do is we need uh, to give uh, an action to the dismiss and clear. So I'm going to hit dismiss and well actually first I need to hit the magnifying glass so we go into edit mode and I'm going to hit dismiss and clear and I'm going to give it an action. When you tap it there's two things I want to happen. First thing is scene, destroy scene and it generally will auto populate with the name of the scene you're actually in and that's exactly the one I want it to destroy that scene and then the second thing I want to happen is I want it to set a variable so we're going to go to variables and we're going to say 
variable set and we're going to choose this variable should be in here no it's not in here yet because we haven't used it even though we used it in a we only used it in a text but we didn't actually set it up so we have to type it out so I'm going to type 1 0 1 miss call count and we're going to set it to 0 and that's it. So it destroys the scene and it resets the count. And that's all you need to do with that. That is our button. So let's get out of here. And that's our scene. Now we need to go to the part that actually makes this happen. So we're going to go to profile and we're going to create a new profile. And you can name that profile anything you want to, but I'm going to call it 101 miss call and now what are we going to do how are we going to trigger this obviously it's going to be when something happens on the phone so an event and then we're going to choose phone and then we're going to choose missed call now if you want to you can have this only happen when certain callers either a specific one contact or any favorite contact or a contact group or any of your contacts so if you choose any contact this would only trigger if someone in your phone book calls you if someone else called you wouldn't trigger at all that might be something you want to do for now I'm just gonna leave it at any contact that's going to be the trigger and now we need to create a task with it so a new task I'm gonna name this task 101 miss call so we know they go together easy way to do it and now here's where a little bit of more uh, work comes into it so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go variable set so add the plus button variable and we're going to say variable uh, set and we're going to choose the variable that we created, which should be in here now. There it is, 101 miss call count. And we're going to set it to itself. Plus one. Now you might wonder, well first let me show you. We're going to do that. We're going to click do math so that it actually does the math. Now you may wonder, and let's look at this real quick. If you go to variables, there is a variable add, or you just choose the name of the variable and add a certain value to it. And that would work in most cases, that would work fine. You can actually tr try it both ways and uh, either one should work for this. The reason why I like to use the variable set is because if for some reason this variable has not previously been uh, uh, set, then it could throw it off. Not likely, as long as you set things up right, you could use the variable add or variable set. Um, but for this one, I'm going to use variable set. But either one should work just fine. So then we're going to uh, show the scene, because the next thing we want to happen is for our scene to show. So you click plus and you click scene, and you choose show scene. And then we're going to click the search button, and we're going to choose the scene that we just created uh, which is 101 miss call and then we're going to decide how we want to show that scene I'm going to choose overlay blocking that means it'll be on top of anything that is on your phone it'll stay on top even if you hit a return button or the home button uh, it'll still show until you destroy the scene I'm going to leave the position in the dead center, that's where I want it. I'm going to leave show exit button checked, and if you've watched my other tutorials, you know it's important to always, 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 always leave that button checked until you fully have tested out your scene, and you know you have your own way to destroy it. Otherwise, you could have a scene up there that you could never get rid of, and that would really suck. So leave that checked for now, and that's it. We've shown our scene. Now, the other thing we want to do is we want to uh, uh, set another variable, a new variable, so we're going to go variables 
variable set and this is a new variable this is going to be the uh, uh, vibrate that you saw earlier so I'm gonna go vibe call and we're gonna set that to zero so we're gonna start it off with uh, setting it to zero and now starts the count. So we're going to go to variables and again you could use variable set or you could use uh, variable add. So we'll say variable add for this one just so you can see that, that works just as well. The variable we're going to use is the variable that we just created That's it. Let's double check. Yeah, vibe call. So, vibe call to we're gonna add. It's a variable add. So, takes that that variable and it adds one to it. So now we're adding one to that. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to have it vibrate. So we're gonna go to add. We're going to go to uh, alert. We're going to go to vibrate and this represents milliseconds so I'm going to have it vibrate for about 700-ish, 750-ish seconds. So that's good, 783. So it's going to vibrate and after it vibrates we're now going to start a famous, infamous if-then statement. So we're going to go task, we're going to go if and our if condition is going to be if we're going to choose the vibe call that we just created if vibe call is less than and then we're going to go miss call count so if it's less than the miss call count, which if you remember we just added one to that a bit, then we're going to have it do a few things. First thing we're going to have it do is wait. So let's go to task and go to wait. And the reason we're having it wait is so that it uh, ha there's a pause in between. So if this, your phone is in your pocket, you can count the number of vibrations to know how many missed calls you have. So we're going to have it wait just one second, so not long. And then we're going to have a task. And we're going to have go to. And we're going to have it to go uh, back up to number four. Go back up to number four. So what's happening here is you're... First, you're adding one to the missed call count. You're showing the scene. You're setting the vibe call count to zero, and then adding one to it, so it starts off at one, and then it vibrates. And then if there are, if the vibe call is less than the missed call, you want it to vibrate again. So it waits a second, and then goes back to number four, adds one, and then vibrates again. If you have three missed calls, then it would wait a second, go back to number four, and then vibrate again. If three, if you only have three missed calls and you've done it three times, you've added one each time, so now vibe call is not going to be less than the missed call count, so now you want it to go uh, continue on in. So you can click the plus button, task, and you can choose else. And if we had something we wanted it to do at that point in time, you could do it there. But we're not going to do anything. We're just going to leave it because there's nothing else that we need to do. So hopefully you understood that. You're setting the miss call to miss call plus one. So in other words, if this phone is in your pocket, the first time you get a miss call, it sets it to one. Shows the scene. Sets vibrations to, to zero, then adds one. It vibrates, 
and since one is not less than one, it would end. But the next time you get a call, if you haven't hit the dismiss and clear button on your scene, then it's going to add one to miss call. So now the count is two. It's going to show the scene. It's going to set vibe call to zero. It's going to add one. It's going to vibrate. One is less than two. So then it's going to go back and add another one and vibrate again. But now two is not less than two. So it would end. So basically you're just making it so that however many missed calls you've had since you've hit the dismiss and clear button, it vibrates that many times to let you know exactly how many missed calls you have. Now as we know with Tasker, there's always some trial and error involved and uh, I changed this task around a little bit to make it work correctly. Um, I did have show scene up at the top and when I had that up at the top, uh, the vibration wasn't working. Um, I do not know why exactly. I tried to figure out how to make it work uh, and nothing was working until I moved it down here after the else. And uh, that way works perfectly. So once you move the show scene after else, what happens is you set the variable, you set the vibe call variable, you add one, it vibrates. Uh, if it's less than uh, the number, it goes back and vibrates again, goes back and vibrates again, and then shows the scene that shows you how many calls you've missed and who the most recent is from. If you put the scene at the top where we had it before, it would show the scene, it would vibrate once, but then if you got a second missed call or a third missed call, it would update the scene, but it would not vibrate the number of times, uh, which is the main point of uh, having this profile, is that it can be your phone can be in your pocket and you can know exactly how many calls you've missed. So I moved uh, show scene down to the else statement, so after it's finished with all the vibrations, and then I also uh, had to change the go to action to go to action number three. So make that change and then it'll work exactly the way it's supposed to. Now I have the uh, entire thing set. When you get a missed call, it triggers this task, which shows the scene that we created over here, the missed call scene, uh, displays the number of missed calls, uh, lets you know what your most recent is from. The reason there's two numbers there is because if you get a call from someone that's not in your phone book, then it doesn't know the name, so it just shows the number in place of the name. And if you hit the dismiss and clear, then it erases your missed calls, set, resets it back to zero, because we set that, that task up for the tap, that it resets it to zero, so that the next time you get missed call, your missed call count is one. Now, one more thing you're probably going to want to do, depending on how you want to use this, you probably don't want this profile on all the time. If you have your volume on, then you're going to know when you get a call and you miss a call because you're, you're going to hear it. But this is really geared towards, as you saw in the beginning, if you have your phone on silent mode and it's in your pocket. So you don't want it to make any noise. You don't even want it vibrating constantly when someone calls. You want it completely silent, but because of that, you do want to know when you miss a call just by that very simple uh, one vibration for each missed call. So what you need to do is you need to create a new profile that will turn this profile on when it's in silent mode. So we're going to uh, click the plus button. And 101 miss call on. We're going to select state. And then we're going to select variable, variable value. We're going to hit the little variable label button and go down to silent mode and choose on. We're going to click back. So when silent mode is on, what do we want to do? We're going to create a new task. Cause 101 miss call on. And we're going to create a task plus tasker profile status. Choose the profile that we create just created, the 101 miss call, and set it on. So we want it to turn on whenever it's in silent mode. And that's all there is to that, but we also want to make sure it turns off when we leave silent mode. So you can long press, add exit task. 
new task. 101 and then miss call off. And for this one, click plus, click tasker, click profile status, choose the same profile, on the one miss call, and set off. So now you see, when silent mode, when that silent variable matches on, meaning silent mode is on, then miss call turns on. It turns this profile on. And then when you exit, when that variable no longer matches that, it turns this profile off. So that's uh, one way to do it. Um, another way that you could do it, do it is you could long press missed call and you could add a, a secondary context that says uh, and add the variable value silent on, meaning this would only, you could leave this on, but it would only trigger if you missed a call and your phone is in silent mode. Um, either way is uh, uh, a legitimate way. Uh, you can test the other way if you want to, see how that works for you. Um, but I test it out specifically this way, and I know this way works for me. And it's the way that I like to do it, is just not have this profile on so that nothing is, uh, is just not happening unless it's in silent mode. So anyway, that is it for this lesson. If you like this lesson, please click that like button. Head over to my channel, check out uh, uh, all my other Tasker tutorials, uh, about 200 Android app reviews, a lot of tech gadget reviews that you might want to check out, uh, things like that. Uh, so check all that stuff out, subscribe, favorite your favorite playlist. If you have questions, feel free to post them below. I do my best to answer them. I can't always do it, but I do my best. And if you have your own user request, feel free to submit it. Again, I don't, I can't do all of them, but uh, I do actually read all of them. And the ones that I think will work for a lesson, I will certainly try to do a lesson. Anyway, that is it until next time. So have fun with Tasker.